Hey party people, Panda Brady here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're doing more recap and discussion of Ruby Volume 5. Today, Episode 4, so without further ado, let's get into it. We open with Yang getting tricked by Rubber Band Man, who has led her into an ambush. Yang is not amused and easily defeats them no problem with her new robot arm in tow. After the fight, her real arm begins to shake and she calms herself down. This is the closest thing to psychological damage the show has done since last season. Early last season. Yang tells the guy that Raven's her mom and heads towards the bandit camp. Next, we have a training sequence between Oscar and Ruby in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ozcar, Ozpin, Oscar, yeah. <laughs> uh, they show off a bit and end with Ozpin headbutting Ruby. They retcon how aura and semblances work, which is super annoying. Now, aura isn't passive, and semblances aren't based on your personality like they used to be. Also, I wanted to point out, like everyone else, that Jean is awfully chummy with how he refers to Ozpin, despite not liking or trusting him after the last episode and what happened to Pyrrha. Man, Oz wasn't kidding. Oscar's picking up on this stuff fast. Anyways, Yang arrives at the bandit camp as Weiss is attempting to break out of her cage again. Uh, they don't see each other, though, and Raven acts like Yang is the one that ran off, saying um, that she's finally come to visit her. They have a bit of back and forth, and then Raven invites Yang to camp for the night. Yang says she would rather go after Ruby and wants Raven to teleport her to Crow because she knows how Raven's semblance works. There's almost... No animation in this scene. It's really weird because they just walk back and forth, back and forth. Um, it's just some pacing and arm movement. It feels really rushed, but I digress. Uh, Raven tells Yang that Ozpin isn't the person that she thinks he is, and Yang says she doesn't care. Raven decides not to help Yang, and a bandit attacks Yang after she swears at her mother. Yang's counter knocks over a tent and reveals Weiss breaking out. There's an actual fun line here, and Yang? Weiss? All right, well, subtlety is out. And the two go to face the bandits, are stopped by a sudden lightning bolt from Vernal, maybe? Uh, Raven tells them they need to talk and heads into her tent. Weiss and Yang share a tender moment, and we end the episode. Sorry about that. I missed you so much. I missed you too. Now, for R&D. I've decided to uh, rework the discussion part to more closely resemble my Neon video. So, let's talk about some stuff here. Voices are great quality. Decent acting from everyone involved. Rain, uh, Raven is a bit snarkier than I thought she'd be. Uh, Rin sounds like he's reading off of a cue card. And John's attitude towards Oz has shifted greatly. But, you know... I get there's supposed to be days between the episodes, but that would mean that Yang rode with Rubber Band It for that long too? Or more appropriately, the show's episodes are not placed in chronological order, which is why I think they should have uh, they should do an episode following just one storyline at a time before, before swapping to the next. But that's just me. Animation. We have a nice fight scene with Yang and the Bandits. A clumsy scene with... Oz Pincar versus Ruby, uh, and very little character animation when talking, except for from Ruby and Nora, who are the two hyperactive characters. Lore has been torn down and rebuilt once more. Initially, Aura was the manifestation of your soul and passively used to protect the owner. However, it does have a limited amount. 
There is also the strangeness of how to measure a soul, and if you run out of aura, what does that mean? Like in the Vital Tournament with Weiss. Uh, but that's for a different time when I discuss aura in depth. Semblances were also unique powers that were manifested based on your personality, or so behind the scenes had said. But now, anyone could have whatever. They mentioned no two semblances were the same, but apparently that means that while Ruby has speed and turns into rose petals, someone else could have speed and turn into flames or leave a trail of flames, so there's that. Relevancy in the episode is simply build up for things to come and to set up a near end of volume attack from Ruby. That's really kind of dumb and doesn't make sense to me, but we will see that when it gets here. So, this has been Panda Brady R&D. Like and share if you enjoyed. Subscribe to become part of the Panda Party. Because there ain't no party like a Panda Party. Because Panda Party don't stop. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.